Hey guys, Taylor here. Um, this is the second video in a series for precision ammo reloading. Um, particularly right now we're on case prep. Last time we did primer pocket prep. This time we will do uh, neck turning. And last time I mentioned that we're not going to go through um, neck trim or case trimming because I just got these uh, new Lapua 308 cases and they are within a thou. Uh, so I've got 2009 and 2010 for my lengths. Uh, so there's no need. When we get there, uh, after these expand a little bit, I'll be sure to make another video how to case trim. Um, if you guys want, if you're missing it uh, before I get there, feel free to comment. Um, sure, we can do it. It's just it's another quick video. But on to case neck turning. Um, and actually, I just made another video. I'm going to upload it. It was 18 and a half minutes long. I don't know how many people want to listen to me drone on for that long. So this one's a little bit abridged. Um, but feel free to go check that other one. So uh, neck turning tool. I bought this one from Sinclair. Basically, it's a mandrel, a little carbide cutting tool. Um, and it comes with... This guy, I hate this guy. Um, essentially, you put your case in here, you tighten it down, and now you have something to grab onto as you turn. Super slow, the hands of my muscles, or the muscles in my hand get tired. Um, it's very annoying. So what I've come up with is my drill. There's actually this little piece here. Um, I got this off of Brownells, but your, your case will slide right in there. Um, unscrew it, loosens it up, slide your case in, tighten it up, and it fits snug right in here. Um, so again, on my longer video, I showed you guys how to adjust this uh, turning tool. I have it set, it's set for a 12 thou wall thickness and we're just gonna go through a few. Uh, and keep in mind, the goal here, the first time we're doing a neck trimming is to get a uniform wall thickness throughout the neck. Um, manufacturers don't have the capability in their stamping pressing processes. Um, they're somewhat close, but this just gets it right. Um, so you wanna take as little material off as you can. With the few I've gone through, I found that 12 thou is the minimum that I can do. So, we just throw this on the mandrel. And my puppy hates the sound of the drill. That was her going crazy. Um, so, break if I could loosen this. I can't loosen it. But what you'll see here now is from where it starts to bevel up on, um, it's all nice and shiny all the way around. Um, what you don't want to see. And what I did on one of the last ones, um, see how some parts here are shiny and then other parts aren't. It means that here, where it's not shiny, that's a low spot. Um, and it means you need to go a little bit deeper with your, your cutting tool. You're a little too thick there. So cut in a little bit further. So the whole way around, it's nice and shiny. Um, and the other thing to check so use your fingernail and run it up and down. You don't want to be able to feel ridges. Um, if you have ridges, it means you went too quick. Put it back on the mandrel, keep turning. You want it to be nice and smooth, nice and uniform. Um, so I've gone through, I've done three, now four with that one. Um, I'm gonna go through and turn just 20 on this first round. Um, I wanna get out and shoot them see how it feels. Maybe I'll take a little more off. Um, 
but we'll have to do that next time. So like the video if you think it's good. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of these. I'm going to try and put more and more out um, detailed about the different steps of precision ammo reloading. Um, and if you have comments, share them. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's a better way to do it, if there's something you do different, uh, if there's something I do wrong, because we all know people have opinions. Uh, just comment below. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. And uh, next time, I don't know what's next, but we'll try and get another video out soon. Thanks, guys.